Good morning, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on my part series. The week that was college football history review, the 1967 college football season. Today I'll be talking about the games that were played during week 3 of September 30th, 1967. Here we go. Let's get into it. Our Army defeated Boston College 21-10. Seeking upset. The Eagles soared to touchdown on opening series. Boston College quarterback Mike Fallon threw four interceptions, 13 out of 30 for 180 yards, filling in as a Boston College was crippled at several offensive positions. Guided his team to 80 yards, 80 yard touchdown march, and scoring himself from three yard line. Thereafter, Army linebackers Jim Bevins and Bud Ness Wakani sparked defense that bent, but was brilliant near its goal line. Bevins made two interceptions at his five-yard line, and defensive back Henry Taklowski picked off another fouling pass at 10-yard line. Now, Bevins blocked punt for safety in the second quarter, and cadets pulled back Roger Ledoe shook off his early inaccuracies to pitch 56-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Terry Young, who broke West Point to, take, to date career reception record only second fumble led to field goal so eagles led eagles led 10-9 at halftime so ahead 12 to 10 in third quarter the cadets fullback charlie jarvis swept 64 yards to the boston college 21 yard line he was relieved by fullback jim greenley who powered to nine yard touchdown run and 18 to 10 edge next clemson Played against Georgia, where Georgia beat Clemson by a score of 24-17. Now, Georgia was ranked number five in the country, and they beat Clemson 24-17. So, newly mounted stone from California's Death Valley that was, become, that was to become known as Coach Frank Howard's Rock brought no luck to Clemson in its Death Valley Stadium. Tenacious Georgia defense forced rash of first-half errors to build a 17-3 lead. Interceptions by linebacker Happy Dix. Defensive back Jack Jake Scott, Brett Bulldogs, four. Quarterback Kirby Moore's two touchdown runs. Now, Tigers turn tables in the third quarter with dominant rally. Tying game at the 17 17 on infantry touchdown march had back Frank Libertor. 52 yard punt return for a touchdown. Bulldogs defense finally stiffened, and local product tailback Kit Lawrence ended 55 yard drive by sweeping in behind fullback Ronnie Jenkins. Block for 14 yard touchdown that won it for Georgia. Sub quarterback Charlie Waters was Tigers' leading rusher with 12 carries for 87 yards, but he was among Clemson passes who threw three interceptions. Next, in North Carolina State defeated Florida State 20 to 10. Pre game analysis hardly mentioned accurate passing off of NC State quarterback Jim Donnan, future collegiate coach, but Donnan contributed. Excellent pass yard, passing yards to enhance efforts of Wolf Platt, fine corpse of runners before offense could take over. Big defensive plays, defensive scoreless first quarter. NC State defensive tackle Dennis Bird sacked Florida State quarterback Kim Hammett on consecutive plays. And FSU defensive back Walt Sumner block kicker Gerald. Warren's 39-yard field goal try in second quarter Wolfpack halfback Charlie Bowers broke through line and outran three defense for a 49-yard touchdown. NC State fullback settled Dockery's run to position Warren for 23-yard field goal and 10 up the lead that held until halftime. Now the Seminoles turned to quarterback Gary Padgett, who zipped 25-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Ron Sellers after poor Carolina punt to their 28-yard line. Form recovered by safety Johnny Crow. Set up effort shoot at NC State 16 yard line, but it had to settle for kicker Grant Guthrie's tight 33 yard field goal. Donnan's sharp passes made possible possible Warren's 40 yard field goal that barely fell over crossbar from 13 10 lead. Wolfpack scored clinching touchdown on 55 yard drive after linebacker Mike Hilker picked off Padgett. Next, Tennessee 
defeated Auburn by a score of 27-13. Now, Tennessee quarterback Dewey Swamp Rat Warren directed his usual early game mayhem at Auburn with touchdown pass to tight end Kenny DeLong and one-yard touchdown sneak. By halftime, Tigers had crept back to within 14-13 on a kicker John Riley's two field goals and quarterback Lauren caught his short touchdown run. Warren was carted off in third quarter with knee injury, so volunteers moved there. Always useful quarterback turn tailback. Charles Fulton back to quarterback. Fulton sparked two drives in the second half as tailback Walter Chadwick converted each with slashing touchdown run. Next, Purdue. Number 10 team in the country. This is about two top 10 teams. Uh, Purdue, number 10 team in the country, beat number one, upset number one, Notre Dame. By a score of 28 to 21. For the third time since 1949, sophomore quarterback led Purdue to upset of Notre Dame that ended long Irish unbeaten streak. Dale Samuel sparked spoiler makers to win that stop 39 game winning streak in 1949. Lynn Dawson threw four touchdowns to end a 13 game winning streak in 1954. And this time, 12 game winning streak was halted on hot passing hand. Of quarterback Mike Phipps, who's 14 of 34 for 238 yards, two touchdowns. Now Phipps, five touchdowns to break, 14-14, 21-21 ties in the fourth quarter. So Abley assisting was superb Purdue halfback defensive back Leroy Keys, who caught nine passes for 108 yards receiving for a touchdown included, and double as quarterback cornerback to make vital interceptions to end late Irish corn comeback. Now bowling makers fullback Perry Williams. Scored twice to provide 6 0 and 14 7 lead. Notre Dame quarterback Terry Hanratty set five school records as he participated paid it in then, then 75 plays. He passed 29 of 63 for 366 yards, a touchdown, and four interceptions, and ran for 54 yards. Hanratty was at his best in the first three quarters that ended 14 14. But Hanratty scrambled 25 and five with one yard quarterback draw, run for touchdown in the first half, by completing two fourth down passes to position. Had back Bob Rocky Blyer for third quarter score. Handwriting also found in Jim Seymour for two of his eight receptions on fourth quarter trip to tight end Paul Snow's 31 yard touchdown catch. The deadlock score at 21 21. Now, the Irish pass rush on Phipps had been diminished by ankle injury suffered by Stella Notre Dame defensive tackle Kevin Hardy on game's second play. Next, number two, Southern California defeated. Michigan State by score of 21-17 as quarterback Steve Sogg was struck with 14-16 passing that spread Spartans defense for runs of tailback O.J. Simpson who had 190 yards rushing on 36 carries and two touchdowns and USC sauntered to a 14-7 lead. The chosen second quarter turned dark as Michigan State quarterback Jimmy Ray threw a 47-yard touchdown bomb to end Al Brenner and high snap forced USC punter Ricky Aldridge, Aldridge into safety. Michigan State Led 17-14 at halftime. So in the third quarter, Simpson surprised everyone with a 70-yard touchdown lob to wide receiver Jim Lawrence for winning touchdown. So in the late going, Spartans moved 70 yards to Trojans' five-yard line, but fourth down, end zone pass to Brenner was another five, and USC held. So like that, away went Spartans' chance to turn their season around, and it headed south quickly. Next, Arizona. Defeated Ohio State 14-7. 14-7 was the score in this matchup between Arizona and Ohio State. Where Arizona beat Ohio State 14-7. Coach Woody Hayes suffered only his third setback in the seven team openers as Buckeyes faded after strong first quarter. Ohio State went 46 yards to quarterback Jerry Ersims. Early touchdown at the quarterback Bill Long connected with Bill Anders for 41 yards. So confident. Confident Arizona to receive spark with sub quarterback Bruce Lee was inserted in second quarter and he led 82 yard march as halfback Wayne Edwards slashed over on fourth 14 pay play for 7 7 halftime to tie. Poor Buckeyes punt to own 37 yard line position Wildcats for their winning tally in third quarter. Now Lee fake pass dashed nine yards for score. Uh, Ohio passes made only 7 for 26. 69 yards or barely made letting more than two and a half yards per try indiana defeated kansas by a score of 18 to 15. 
Nebraska, number 17 in the country, shut out Minnesota 7 0 as Nebraska secured its 20th straight home win by fashioning a 94 yard touchdown trip in third quarter as quarterback Frank Patrick completed 11 and 9 yard passes. Cornhuskers have back Joe Orduna charged last 25 yards to score as he steamrolled four Golden Gophers tacklers. Defensive battle was punctuated by Minnesota's ability to halt Cornhuskers nearly every time it mattered. Nebraska kicker Bill Baumberger missed three field goals and Huskers coughed up fumble at Golden Gophers' seven-yard line in the fourth quarter. Sole threat by Minnesota died in the second quarter as kicker Bob Stein missed 33-yard field goal try. Texas Tech beat Texas 19-13. Rarely had Texas seen running like that of quarterback John Scoville of Texas Tech, who broke down the NFC school rushing yards record for Southwest Conference. Southwest game with 25 catches for 175 yards. But after Lone Horse quarterback Bill Bradley opened scoring with 36 yard pass in the first quarter, Scoble went to work with short touchdown run and his 21 yard touchdown pass for 16 6 lead. Texas tailback Chris Gilbert's 80 yard touchdown run brought halftime score to 16 13. But it was a disappointing second straight loss for Texas, which started season ranked number four and lost to Texas Tech. For the first time since 1955. Finally, Wyoming defeated Colorado State 13 10. Revenge for previous year's only loss was on minds of the Cowboys who burst through Remember 66 banner as they took field in Laramie. Quarterback Paul Toscano, Toscano riddled Colorado State with 14 of 29 for 250 yards, 14 of 29 for 250 yards passing including the first quarter 44-yard touchdown to wingback Hub Lindsey. But Rams held on grimly and shaved the deficit to 10-7 on tailback Oscar Reed's second-quarter touchdown plunge. Now unable to sustain an attack, Wyoming counted on kicker Jerry DePoster to bomb the 55-yard field goal for winning margin in the third quarter. So that concludes a look at Week 3. The week that was, College Sports Review. Week 3 in September 30th, 1967, the games that were played on that day. Now let's look at the um, OUP poll as October 2nd is concerned. Let's get into it. Number 1 was Southern California, followed by number 2, Houston. Number 3, UCLA. Number 4, Purdue. Number 5, Georgia. Number 6 was Notre Dame. Number 7 was Nebraska. Number 8 was Colorado. Number 9, Alabama. And number 10, Texas Tech. So that concludes a look at week three, college football history review, the 1967 college football season, week number three, for September 3rd, 1967, I do feel this to tomorrow, moving to October, as far as uh, the games that were played during that season in October, the first uh, Saturday in October. Yeah, October 7th, 1967, that'll be tomorrow, that'll be uh, week Number four, because this is week three right here for September 30th. I did September 23rd and 16th, as well as the 15th. That uh, two games played on the uh, 15th of September. Yeah, Houston, Florida State, Southern California, Washington State. So that was week three. So I'll be doing week four tomorrow, October 7th, So that concludes this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be able to smash you tomorrow. Until then, talk to you soon.